prosecution must negative the defence. If you consider it to be reasonably possible that Mrs Dickerson's actions in causing the death of her three children were acts of infanticide, you cannot find her guilty of their murders. If you conclude it is reasonably possible that at the time Mrs Dickerson killed her children, the balance of her mind was disturbed by reason of her having not fully recovered from the effect of childbirth or any disorder arising from childbirth, to such an extent she should not be held fully responsible for their deaths, the Crown will not have discharged the burden on it to disprove infanticide. Everyone is presumed to be sane at the time of doing the act which is the subject of the charge. The Crown does not have to show that a defendant was sane at the time the alleged offence was committed. It is for a defendant to prove on the balance of probabilities that he or she was insane when they committed the act which constituted the alleged crime. No person can be convicted of an offence by reason of an act done by that person when suffering from a disease of the mind that prevented them from understanding the nature and quality of their actions, or of knowing their actions were morally wrong, having regard to the commonly accepted standards of right and wrong. It is for you to decide on the evidence whether the defendant has satisfied you that it is more likely than not she was suffering from a disease of the mind, and what that disease of the mind was. Your task is not to perform a neurological or psychiatric assessment of the defendant's brain or its workings with a view to establishing capacity. What you are tasked to do is to decide whether Mrs Dickerson because of the disease of her mind, did not know that what she was doing was morally wrong. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.